past, I've built many cities for different Minecraft mobs. But this time, we're making a city for one of the most elusive mobs in Minecraft history, the Enderman. So today, we're gonna travel to the end, build a custom floating Ender Island, and create a magical Enderman city on top of it. All in Minecraft hardcore. What could possibly go wrong? He's literally griefing my build. Why are you doing this? So step one, we gotta go to the end. Because everybody knows that's where Endermen live. Hence the name Enderman. Away we go. There's the rocket, which leads us right to the end. Ah, no, no, no. I didn't mean it. Ah, not a good start here. But anyways, we gotta pick a location. Now, my first idea was to build the city on the main Ender Island. But I can't do that because I'm transforming this whole place into a giant solar system. Which reminds me, I should build some more planets soon. So if we can't use this island, we'll just have to make a new one. But for that, I need some blocks. Are you mad at me? You ungrateful creatures. I'm building you a city. So let's go fly out here, grab some dirt, and we can use this to map out the size and shape of our custom island. I am excited for this project. Oh, wait. I was looking at my statue and I realized a few months ago, I said if I hit a million subs, I would dye my hair teal. And we did it. So if you were curious why I look like store brand ninja, now you know why. Wait. And that looks so stupid. Well, I guess this does too, so it evens out. Okay, enough fooling around. Back to the Ender Island. So I built far out into the Ender Void using my dirt to make a nice outline for where the island's gonna go. Okay, I think this will be big enough for a city. At least I hope. Now the outline was the easy part, but now we gotta turn this dirt mess into an Ender-themed island. Now what block should I use? I mean, I could just use End Stone, but that's kind of lame. So I hopped into a separate creative mode world and did some testing. All right, I got it. Obviously. Obviously, we got end stone, we got some end brick, and a little change up block with some sandstone. I like it. So I hopped back in my hardcore world and began getting materials. And I probably should grab this too. I wouldn't want to offend anybody with some unwanted eye contact. End stone, easy enough. I think I can craft end brick. Please, 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 please. Ah, it works. Nice. And finally, I just need some sandstone. And I think we can get some over here. There we go. Total side note, I hate the rain. It's totally killing the vibe right now. But on I went, collecting all the sand we needed for this island. And as I do that, please subscribe and hit the bell. Oh, hey, Mr. Turtle. Oh, you look so cute there sitting in the rain. And now you're wet. Kids, save the turtles by pushing them into the water. Yeah. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's place some of this. Build up a little bit, and let's see what Farzy can whip up here. So the first step to making a floating island is to build these spiky bits at the bottom and raise it up to one hunk of land at the top. This may look stupid now, but trust me, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, and while building, I almost died. Okay, right now it's a little bit weird looking because it's only the hangy bit. But if we fly up here, now here comes the important part. Building up the sides and round it off into a nice flat surface. And there we have it. A perfectly flat custom ender island out. And just so we're clear, that island took a lot of end stone. Like I mined this all out today. Yeah. But I didn't realize the island looks a little bit boring right now. So I wanted to add one more layer on top. I'm thinking something purple. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh. Oh, wait, I have the perfect idea. Introducing mycelium. It's absolutely perfect. It's like purple grass. It'll be the perfect topper for our island. But the question is, how much mycelium do I have? Okay, we got some, but that's not enough. All right, BRB, let's take a quick pit stop at the Mushroom Mansion. Hello there, beautiful. How you doing? Let me just borrow some of this. So I collected a ton of mycelium until I saw a fly in my room. Don't worry, I got it. And that is how we do it. Now, when I usually make a mob city, everything is enclosed in a giant glass dome, which will be about this size. But here's a shocker. To make a glass dome, you need a lot of glass. Who would have thought? So we're gonna fly out to the sandy dunes, aka the desert, home of the burning zombies who just died in front of me. Okay. And we're gonna collect a lot of sand. And I know what you're thinking, Farzy, you have a sand farm. Well, today I'm in the Minecraft spirit. I wanna get it by hand. Ooh, what could that be? Hello there, Mineshaft. Any gifts for me? Oh, a name tag. I'll take that. Oh, there's another one. Farzy, stay focused. Don't get tempted by the Mineshaft. Can't resist. Must explore. Oh my goodness. Explore, I will. What a pl- oh, my, no, 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 no. I hate exploring. I hate exploring. Ah! Okay, point taken. No more exploring. And we're out of here. Now to smelt this sand into glass. And that's not even close to enough. Dang it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I'm tearing up your home. I'm gonna name you Buttercup. 
Why? F in chat for buttercup. Oh man. But after many hours of smelting up sand, I finally had the glass I needed. All right, it's time for Farsi's dome lessons. That sounds weird. Step one, make a giant circle. Step two, make a slightly smaller circle. And step three, keep making smaller circles. And that right there is how you make a dome. But now that we have the island and the glass dome done, we can officially make the city itself. I am so excited for this. Now in the past, when I make a mob city, I like to map out the buildings using wool. So I want a big building in the center, like a temple or like a church or a town hall. We're also gonna surround the entire area with houses for the endermen. And they're gonna be small, but pretty tall because you know, they're tall creatures. Gotta make sure they fit. And last but not least, I wanna make some other town themed buildings like shops or farms or just things that'll fit in with the town nicely. Okay, I'm no real estate expert, but this place looks really good. But now we gotta transform these wool outlines into actual buildings. And I already have the best idea for this. And just a reminder, if you take my wool blocks and move them, I will murder you just like this. Oh, oh, that's two. I was trying to teach you a lesson. Don't kill me. Take what you want. Take what you want. Oh dear. We got some grumpy citizens. But getting back to my amazing idea, I want to build the buildings out of an Enderman themed color palette, black and purple. And I did some testing off camera and oh my, guys, it's going to be freaking beautiful. You just wait and see. So first off, let's get some black blocks. And personally, my favorite black block in the game is, aha, Blackstone. I absolutely love this block. What the heck? That's terrifying. I'm a little scared now, but we continue on. <laughs> Oh, hello there, Bastion. I can't think of a better place to find Blackstone than inside of here. Thank you very much. Oh, bad piggy. I know how to make bacon. Tried to warn you. Ooh, I'm finding some good loot today. Eh, not that good, but you know. Oh, oh the security's here. The security's here. I wasn't taking anything. Nope, not me. Why do all the mobs hate me today? Oh, that was my last totem. Great. Looks like we got to take a pit stop at the good old fashioned raid farm. But to do that, I got to get the bad omen effect. So banner guy, where you at? Please spawn any day now. Whenever you're ready. I'm begging you. Hello there, little weirdo. Thank you. And off we go. So I sat in the farm until I got a fresh new supply of totems. And that takes care of that. Back to work. But with the blackstone out of the way, it was time to go find some purple blocks. But there was one issue. You see, Minecraft is dumb. A lot of the best blocks in the game don't have stairs or slabs with them, making them kind of pointless to build with. So what purple block has stairs and slabs with it? Nope. Nah. Uh, Mm-mm. Oh, purple block. That actually would work out really well. Okay, I see the vision now. Looks like we're gonna use a lot of purple. This calls for a big adventure. Now, if my calculations are correct, the only place to get purple is in the outer end island which I can get to by killing an Enderman. Okay, no eyeball. Oh my gosh! Let's try again! There we go. And now we can simply take his eyeball and chuck it into this weird optical illusion block. And here we are in the outer island. So off I went in search of an end city. And okay, I guess there's one right in front of us. That was fast. And now to mine up all this purple. Okay, can we not? Uh, I'm floating. I, I'm floating. Stupid shulker boxes. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many here? I only came here for the blocks, but I'll take some shulker boxes too, I guess. You're dead to me. Speaking of dead, I'm almost dead. Would you look at that? A reward for killing all the shulker boxes. What do we got in here? Not great loot, but I'll take the gold, I guess. And uh, more gold. Okay. This place stinks. Oh, I was about to leave, but I see a pirate ship. You can't just ignore the pirate ship. Hello there. And please give me some good loot this time. Oh, vanishing and binding. Forget the stupid loot. I don't even want it anymore. Just give me the dragon head and I'm leaving. Roar, I'm a dragon. Subscriber, I'll be even cringier than this. And we both know I'm not lying. But after collecting a ton of purple, I grabbed a few other kind of blocks to mix into the city. I would do anything for an automatic terracotta farm. So if anybody knows how to make one, hit your boy Farzy up, okay? Okay, let's start things off with the big building in the middle, which is going to be a temple for the Enderman. And we're gonna call it the Eye of Ender. Get it? Because the eye in the Enderman, and it's also a a block in the game. I can feel you guys judging me. Well, let's build this bad boy. Let's do some of this, some of this. Can you guys see the vision yet? Cause I certainly do. And there we go. Here's the Eye of Ender Temple. And I absolutely love the color palette, all the purple and the black. I told you it'd look amazing. Oh, look at the people going in. They want to worship their temple. So I guess I'll put down some end rods here and maybe they'll worship the Ender Dragon. There we have it, the Eye of Ender Temple. But I got more buildings to make. Let's go take care of all the Enderman houses. 
Okay, this is very random, but this color palette makes me really hungry. I'm kind of getting some Halloween vibes here. But anyways, there we have it. We have the tall Enderman houses, and look, they fit perfectly. It's the perfect... Okay, what can I put in here that they would like? What do Endermen enjoy the most? Hmm. Oh, I know. Everybody knows Endermen love Ender Pearls. So what if I found a block that kind of looks like Ender Pearls and have them like storing it inside of their home? Block of Ender Pearl. I don't know. When you're building a city for a mob that literally does nothing besides stare at you and get angry, you gotta have a little bit of imagination. I think that'll be good. All right, sweet. The whole thing is coming together. Now, obviously, we still have a ton of work to do on this city. But before that, I gotta address something pretty important. So you know how every video, I do a fun challenge if the video gets a certain amount of likes? Well, last episode, I forgot. For the second week in a row. So sorry about that. But to make it up for you guys, I'm gonna do something that I said I would never, ever do again. We're gonna respawn the Ender Dragon, which might not sound like a big deal until you think of the hundreds of hours I've spent building these giant planets, the space station. Oh yeah, and the Enderman City we're building today. So there's a lot on the line right now. But okay, let's do this thing. Oh gosh. What? It just respawned an ender tower. It does that? He broke half the space station. I gotta rebuild so much already. Ah. All right, come on. We gotta break these things. Whoa. Everybody better like the video. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Be careful. Oh. All right, come here, you foul beast. It's time to die. Whoa. He's breaking the top of my rocket. He's griefing my rocket. Stop it. Stupid dragon. Yes, come right here. Come taste the arrows. Ooh, final few shots. Dude, stop griefing my build. I'm down here. He's literally griefing my build. Why are you doing this? Come on. He's dead. He's dead. He's dying inside of my rocket that he griefed. He blew a hole through my space station. He kind of ate the top of my rocket ship. But besides that, not too bad. But that being said, if this video gets 20,000 likes, I will craft 10,000 TNT blocks and blow them all up next episode. And I'm not gonna lie, that sounds really fun. So like the video. Now, if you excuse me, I got some work to do. This might take a while. So I spent the entire rest of my night cleaning up the end and fixing up all the broken builds. And that looks good as new. Oh man, that took forever. But now it's time to get back to our beautiful Enderman city. So we've built the temple. We've built the homes. But I still gotta build the city themed builds like shops or farms or things like that. I don't know what you guys would be selling, but I'll figure it out. So for the first shop, I'm thinking candles, maybe? Eh, those look good, but I can't sell that. They're Endermen. They're not candlesmiths. Is that a word? Oh, what if they sold chorus fruit? Wait, how do I how do I plant this? I want to sell chorus fruit, but I don't know how to use this stuff. Am I missing something here? Hello again, Outer Island. Is it these big blocky things? Is that? Oh, that looks different. This might be the magical thing. Okay, cool. Aha! There we go. That's the chorus fruit shop. Perfect. Just don't grow and break the ceiling, please. Now I'm making a second shop over here here and I have a pretty interesting idea. What if some Endermen like building and they want to sell cool building blocks like end bricks? Looking good, looking good. And for our final shop, we'll be selling extra Ender Pearls. Though we're kind of out of stock already. I'll take care of that later. Oh, wait, there's one more plot. I forgot. Uh, what should I do here? Oh, wait. I just got a really good idea. When you look at big cities in real life, there's always animals frolicking about. So what if I made a little sanctuary for Endermite? Then the citizens can have some new friends. So let's dig a little hole, surround it in walls, and let's get you guys some little friends. I got one! Oh, he's adorable! <laughs> what are you doing? Why'd you kill the Endermite? Uh, I just realized Endermen try and kill Endermite. <laughs> That might have been a small oversight. Oh, I feel dumb. I guess we'll substitute with a nice little ender tree. How about that? Not as good as an endermite sanctuary, but it'll still do. Good enough for me. Now, at this point, I just wanted to make the city look a little bit nicer. So I add in some custom roads, street lights, and nature details. I am absolutely burning through these tools today. I need a stronger pickaxe, man. Staring at this space station makes me miss Broderick. I don't know where he is, but I hope he's doing okay. I'm sad now. But sadness aside, here's our new and improved city. We got the roads, we got the street lights, we got the little clumps of like end brick here and there. We've already done so much building today. Oh, that reminds me. Every episode, I like to add one new build to my medieval town over here. And for today's build, I have a pretty cool idea. My enderman farm gets me so many ender pearls, so I thought it'd be a great idea to make an ender pearl storage in my town. So yeah, I built that. 
that. And here we have it. A nice little shop to store my ender pearls. I think it's actually out. I think it's super cute. The inside's nice and tidy. I just gotta be careful around these edges here. In fact, how would this look? Safety fences. Ooh, that's kind of good. I should do that more often around the place. But with my town build out of the way, we gotta get back to our city build in the end. Because believe it or not, we're still not done yet. Now everybody knows a city can be amazing, but if there's no leadership, things can crumble pretty quickly. And that's exactly why I need to anoint a mayor for when I'm not here. All right, it's election day. Who wants to be mayor? Maybe you do. No. How about you? No. Does anybody want to be mayor? You. You are the chosen one. And your name is gonna be Mayor Herbert at your service. All right, Mayor Herbert, it's all yours. Take good care of things and don't throw any parties. I have enough pets that do that. Oh my gosh, Charlton! But after being in the end all day, I can't stop thinking about Broderick. I just hope he's happy and safe. But I guess we'll never know. But that's gonna be it from me today. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.